morning. Good morning, everybody. I just wanted to do a quick video on a dream I had last night. Um, it was a dream that involved colors and a message or a delivery of a message. Um, I've been asking God to um, give me a dream to, you know, give me some type of a message in a dream. And I had this dream right before I woke up and then I was uh, startled awake by my daughter who had woken up. So basically this is what the dream was. I had painted a kitchen that was kind of like an open kitchen right next to a, um, like a, a dining room area with a table. And I had painted the kitchen a bright red, which really didn't look bad. But the more I looked at it, the more I realized it was just way too dark. The area of the uh, dining room was like a bright yellow. So I decided that it just really didn't match the dining area. Um, so I was going to change it, but then I was hesitant about changing it because um, I kind of like the red. As you see, my, my kitchen is red and it, it really doesn't look bad. Um, so it's not that I think that red kitchens are bad. Then someone had exposed the fact that the paint that I had used had a very harmful chemical in the paint. And um, she, she said helium, but um, I, I don't know. Anyway, she had taken um, the paint and, and rubbed it on my arm, but it turned into a powder. And there was this glittery powder on my skin. And she had told everybody that this powder uh, seeps into your pores and that it can kill you, that it's um, very powerful and, and very strong and it could kill you quickly. Yeah, she put it on my arm. Anyways, um, I had gotten angry. I was very angry that she had exposed the fact that this paint was harmful because I kind of liked it. Um, red's my favorite color. <laughs> I kind of liked it. So after I had gotten over my anger, I realized I need to change the color. But I didn't know what to change it to because, you know, it needed to kind of match the, the dining room area, which was a bright yellow. Uh, the table was like a bright yellow table. And so I had gotten these samples of of paint out and had put like a splash on the wall as like, you know, like a sample, how you put a splash on the wall. And the colors that I put on the wall were a pale blue, a pale green, an orange, like a mango orange, and a pink, a pretty pink, like a, a, a fuchsia type of pink. They were, they were all very pastel, but very bold pastel colors. And so I had put them on the wall to see what would match the best with the yellow table. And right in the middle of deciding which color, it was like I all of a sudden said, I need to go to the mailbox. There's a message for me. So I was walking to the mailbox. And as I was walking to the mailbox, there was a poem that was being recited. It was only four lines of the poem that got recited to me. I don't remember the poem, but there was one line that I do remember and that line was, there is a change in the air. And as I was walking to the mailbox, I had a feeling of hesitation, but also excitement. And the hesitation was like um, something bad, but then again, there was excitement as well. So with the colors, and this is what I feel, and please feel free to comment. Um, you know, go, go to the Lord in prayer and find out if there's any other meeting that I'm missing. Um, the, the color of the walls, the red, it, it was a bold, dark color. And for a while there, I thought that the color was a little bit too dark. You know, the Lord has been giving me a lot of messages about the church and, and deception and deceiving within the church. And I really feel that the colors had something to do with that. Um, the color was a bold red. It was very attractive color. 
It actually even kind of sparkled a little bit, which I, which I think was the sparkle powder that she had put on my arm. And, but, um, but it was too much. And, and I feel that that color represented the churches who are deceiving people. It looks great. It feels great. But it's not right. It's harmful. There's a harmful substance inside of it. And that if it um, seeps into you, into your body, um, you know, the message that they're trying to convey, if it seeps into your body, it could kill you. In other words, you're still living a life of sin. And that's what I feel that that represented. Um, the table on which we ate, which was, I feel like the Lord's table, was a bright, airy, beautiful yellow color. Um, very inviting, actually. And I'm not very fond of the color yellow, but in my dream it was a very inviting um, you know, color, which is, I believe, supposed to be like the Lord's table. Um, I don't really understand the meanings of the different colors. Um, you know, and then the um, going to the mailbox, I mean, you know, right in the middle of trying to figure out what color I'm going to paint it, you know, I'm going to the mailbox and, you know, and then I'm being told that there's a change in the air. Um, means that I feel like it means like God is trying to give us a message that a change is coming. And to some, it's going to be detrimental. It's, it's going to mean a lot of chaos and a lot of heartache and a lot of hurt. And I feel that was the, um, the feeling of hesitation. But for those who truly live in Christ, there is an excitement in the air. Um, something great and wonderful is going to happen. That's what I felt that the dream meant that we need to um, oh and then the fact that I got mad and angry I feel that that is the church who is being exposed that you know they they enjoy the church that they're going to and they get mad and they get angry at people who expose the deception and the deceiving and the lies within the church and that it's not a true church um, that's why I feel out of that you know, I personally know people who are going to churches and, you know, I've had people tell me, well, I feel like there's something just not right. Um, I just can't seem to get involved. I just can't seem to enjoy it. But, you know, they have something for my kids there and, and my kids really like it. Or they have this thing going on or that thing going on and they have this club or that club. You know, it doesn't matter what they've got going on. It's the message that they're sending. And if you feel like there's just something not right, then there's something not right. And you need to go find another church. You know, it, there's no coincidence that God keeps giving me these messages about churches and the, de the, the deception in the church. You know, there's a change going to happen. A change is in the air and is coming soon and if we don't get rid of the deception and f look for the truth then we're going to be lost it, it's it's going to destroy us it's going to kill us our soul is going to kill our soul and i think that's the message of this of this dream if you feel anything else please let me know i you know i, I definitely want to hear from you guys and what you think as well or what the holy spirit you know, puts upon you about this dream. Um, please comment, please share, please like this channel, and uh, visit me on Facebook, Yet He Saves, on Facebook, and visit me on Google+, Plus. Yet He Saves. God bless you all. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas, and just remember that Jesus is the reason for this season. God bless you.